in my life I've had several therapists um, and my current therapist is awesome and I love him and we get on really well because I know he's not perfect. He never has ever pretended to be. He never gives off that feeling, that, that projection, you know, that, that he's got it all together. G'day, Nick Bowditch here. I uh, had a really great conversation with one of the, my clients this morning on a, on a session we did about therapists, counselors, coaches, mentors, and whether they have to be perfect, whether they have to be better, for want of a better term, than the person that they're helping, the person that's seeking their consultation, or whether it's better that people are a bit normal or a bit um, average or a bit fractured or a bit whatever and whether that's actually better for somebody as well. I know that in my life I've had several therapists um, and my current therapist is awesome and I love him and we get on really well because I know he's not perfect. He never has ever pretended to be. He never gives off that feeling, that, that projection, you know, that that he's got it all together. Um, and that's actually what I have adhered to. And in fact, every therapist I've had in my life who I've, ha who I've had a really good relationship with have all been perfectly imperfect. You know, the, that's, that's, the, that's the trait I want. I don't want somebody who is, who doesn't live with some of the shit I live with. I don't want somebody who can't relate to me. You know, I, I don't want that. And I find that the majority of the time with my clients who I work one-on-one -on -one with, they're seeking the same thing. They don't want me to be perfect or me to have never lost my shit or me to have, you know, they don't want me to have everything together and, and in place and be great and perfect and flawless because it's not real, <laughs> for one. It's not real, it's not authentic. And it also makes them feel like they are, they're less than, you know? They, they also, also makes them feel like they have to have me or the therapist, whoever it is, on a pedestal and put them above their situation that they live in. And I don't, just don't think that's fair. For me, I would much rather seek out somebody who is normal. You know, somebody who knows what it's like to be me, knows what it's like to be alive and operating in the society that, I, that I'm living in. And, and I, and I know that the majority of my clients feel the same. But I want to know what you think about that. You know, would you be more comfortable with someone, are you more comfortable with someone who is in the same boat as you, feels the same things you feel, has the same challenges that you have, um, you know, doesn't necessarily have all the shit together, but is really good at listening, really good at working through stuff, really good at being there and, and offering the right stuff at the right time. Or do you actually want somebody who is legit, somebody who has really got everything together, who is perfect in some ways, or at least in comparison, relatively to what you think you, you bring to the world? Which is which are you more comfortable with? I'd love your opinion on that. Please let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting kind of thing, whether, you, whether your therapist has to be perfect or whether your therapist has to have never experienced any kind of mental health disturbance of their own because yeah from me personally that's not who I want but but I'm really interested to hear from you so let me know in the comments below have a great day wherever you are see ya